Hello, everybody, and welcome back for another week here in Neptune City. Uh, my name is Jeremy, and I'm very excited to uh, to present this episode to you. It's a really fun project, uh, one that I've been meaning to get to for a long time, and one that I'm sure a lot of you have been anticipating. We are building um, we're building Neptune University, as you're seeing on screen here. Um, and what we're doing is uh, this is kind of on the uh, the other side of that sort of bougie park that uh, we built a few episodes back, kind of the uh, wealthier part of town, North Neptune. And um, this is based on Washington University a little bit in, uh, in St. Louis, uh, Missouri. It's also just kind of a lot of this is just kind of coming from my imagination. I wanted to build a sort of compact campus that's... Um, uh, you know, in in sort of a contained rectangle, kind of similar to Columbia University here in New York. Um, a lot of influences here, I should say. Um, but it it turns out really cute and really fun, and uh, I'm super stoked for you guys to see it. So what we're doing first and foremost is we're starting to get some of these buildings laid out. Um, and I, I should say right off the bat that I'm not really... Uh, I'm not an expert in um, campuses. I'm not an expert in colleges. I didn't go to a college like this. I went to a city college that the whole campus was just a couple of buildings, uh, you know, kind of surrounding a single courtyard. So I'm not really super, you know, familiar with uh, what the whole vibe of this type of thing is. But, um, you know, I, I looked around on Google Earth. I kind of got some basic ideas of like what the shapes are and stuff and really what I was trying to go for a lot in this in this build is um sight lines I wanted a lot of like really fun little vantage points that you can see you know kind of uh just like a pretty picture from so that's kind of one of them that we just saw where I kind of built that big x shaped uh courtyard yeah right there and the idea is that you'd be looking at this sort of neoclassical you know big pillar building from the park and you have a really nice view there and um what i'm doing is i'm doing this little trick that i end up doing a ton uh in this episode and beyond where i kind of like i put down like three nodes for a path or maybe it's four uh and i i, I move them super duper close to each other so that the um the 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 sieves kind of walk directly upward uh, and then i hide that under some stairs it um it turns out being a um, just kind of like a slightly lazier uh, but pretty effective way to get uh, that sort of stairway effect without having to spend all of that extra time that you often see people doing with like the invisible stairs that like clip perfectly into the or the sorry the invisible pathway that clips perfectly into the uh, the stairway. I think that's really cool. I think it looks really nice when you do it right. But I think the amount of time that it takes to do it right is just not something that I'm willing to invest uh, at this stage. It's just like it's it's one of those things that if you're going to really spend all that time doing it, you're just never going to have a big city. And um, and that's just not really kind of how I envision this project. Um, so more power to you if you got that kind of if you got that kind of time, you got that kind of commitment that you're you're trying to do that again. More power to you. I, I uh, salute you. But couldn't be me. Anyway, um, over here, doing a lot of like kind of sneaking paths through the insides of these buildings to kind of make these uh, passageways through them so it looks like people are using the doors of the buildings, even though you, like buildings usually generally in this game have like kind of one door that actually works and, um, you know, the rest are just decorative. Uh, and so I'm trying to like use these paths to kind of make sure that like people are coming in and out of all of the doors. And, um, yeah, again, just kind of like building these little courtyards. This campus has just a lot of, I guess they're called quads. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if all of them are quads or if like one of them is a quad. Somebody let me know. Is that, how, how does this work? Is one of them a quad? Are they all quads? Anyway, kind of just like trying to manicure all of this land in a similar way to just kind of show that like all of this is done by the same people, done by the same company. And, um... Ooh, this is fun. I put this little clock tower in the middle here. Uh, I really like the way that looks in the end. Um, anyway, I should say a uh, little little channel update. 
Uh, if you didn't see it last week, I started a new project on here called The Silver Republic. Uh, if you haven't checked it out, I really, really highly encourage you and um, uh, just kindly ask. I kindly ask you to please check out my new show. Uh, I think it's really fun. I think it's really cool. I think people who like this type of video are really going to like it. I know a lot of people in this community kind of like go where their interest goes. You know, like I know I lost a lot of people when I stopped doing a Dutch city, like all my Dutch fans kind of, you know, they lost a little bit of interest in the channel and I can understand that to some degree. But I think if you're a fan of this game, if you're a fan of playing the way that we play uh, on this channel, I think you're going to find something to like in Silver Republic. So I really, really would encourage you to to come check it out. Give it a give it a shot. Give it a try. You know, I promise you're gonna you're gonna find something you like. Anyway, kind of one of the things that I'm trying to do here in this project is um, kind of a fun mix of um, kind of older buildings and newer buildings. I wanted to give the sense that this campus has grown over time, and so like there's some of these super old brick like ornate buildings uh you kind of see them in the top right corner of the campus right now and then kind of closer to camera you see these like more modern uh neoclassical ones that are kind of trying to imitate that style but kind of falling a little bit short uh most of what i'm using right now are, are king leno assets um and uh, i believe those top right ones are from darf and then this bottom left one is do not eat um you know, trying to it, it, just going for like a nice mix that kind of all fits into the general, you know, Neptune City aesthetic of like brick and, uh, you know, red bricks and, and, you know, just generally kind of like ugly falling apart sort of stuff. Uh, over here, I'm building, I think, the only parking lot on campus. No, actually, that's not true. There's a second one that's kind of a little further down from here. Uh, but, you know, it's one of those jokes that I always see when people make colleges in this game is uh, uh, that you made a realistic amount of not enough parking. So I, I, I tried to you know, keep in that spirit in this build and, and, and not really provide enough parking for this campus. But you know what? There's a, the, the subway stops right next to it. So I don't think that it's uh, entirely necessary to provide very much at all. So over here, I'm just kind of like building this little stairway down into the campus. I really like the different levels that I've been able to build into this project. Um, it's fun that it's kind of like built into a little bit of a hillside here. So it ends up, it ends up just having like a fun sort of shape to it. And yeah, just kind of using these, uh, I'm using these pathways kind of next to the sidewalk to kind of like, I mean, in part, I'm trying to differentiate the campus from the rest of the neighborhood to kind of make it seem like, you know, you're really not supposed to be on this land unless you're going to school. But additionally, kind of trying to give the impression of like kind of a wider sidewalk that kind of has some plants going through the middle of it. And yeah, just kind of trying to, you know, like I said before, manicure this place in such a way that it looks like it's all you know, done by the same group of people kind of trying to close it off, but not in like a, um, aggressive way, I guess I should say, trying to make it, um, you know, welcoming, inviting, but still pretty clearly like, you know, don't, don't come onto this property unless you're supposed to be here. And then additionally, I'm using these rocks that uh, I use all over the city, trying to make it sort of a consistent sort of a look all over the place that like, you know where the cliff texture shows up i try to cover it up a little bit with um with these rocks and anyway over here uh try to add a little bit of theming i guess i would call this uh i, I make these sort of like red uh crosswalks i pick i figure like the red color is like the color of the school um and if i had access to some banners i probably would have put those up as well um but uh, we're about to take a break. So uh, when we return, uh, we're going to build the other side of this campus. And we're back uh, now over here. On the far side of campus, we're kind of across this big avenue, and um, 
this side of the the college I based on um, Brooklyn College here in New York, uh, which is a place that is near and dear to me. It is not where I went to school. It is not where I even considered going to school, but it is uh, where I saw Bernie Sanders speak for the first time. And uh, that was a really special day for me. It was really uh, fun and exciting uh, in a way that, um, you know, politics never really was for me. Uh, anyway, so it was kind of, I mean, I saw him speak on on their big quad. And uh, so I tried to recreate that quad a little bit here. And what that means is there's kind of this like open space with these paths going across it in this sort of like oval and then X's sort of pattern. And then the buildings all along the sides of it are like super tall. They're like huge uh, at Brooklyn College. Uh, and, and it just so happens that the vanilla um, campus dorm buildings are really uh, way too big. So it kind of worked out perfectly for this little project. It's kind of the only context in which I would have even considered using these buildings. Um, and uh, just so happened to be what I was looking for. You know, uh, it's uh, sometimes you just come across something a little lucky like that. And then over here, just kind of like connecting it over to them with these, these fantastic paths, uh, these clues paths. I don't know what happened, uh, but I remember when skinny pedestrian paths first showed up on the workshop, they uh, didn't, they, they were really like buggy. I'm sure everybody remembers this, that like if you just touched them wrong, if you looked at them wrong, if you breathed wrong around them, they would just just crash right into the earth. They would like dig in and, and clip to the bottom of the level and you'd never, you'd, you'd never be able to work with them. Um, and I don't know what <laughs> changed, but something changed. And now we have all these fantastic, uh, skinny, nice, colorable paths that like, you they don't do that anymore. Um, if anybody knows what changed, I actually am genuinely curious. I'm not trying to farm for engagement here. I genuinely am curious. But in a uh, in a blatant attempt to farm for engagement, I'd like to know from you, dear listener, um, what what is the uh, what is the mascot of Neptune University? Um, I feel like this is probably an old college. This is an old university. It's the oldest one in the city, I'd imagine. Um, it has kind of like a long long history here as kind of like a uh, a, a place where the elite uh, send their kids it's you know it's in this kind of like snooty rich neighborhood on the north side of town and um, it's not going to be the only college I definitely want to have at least two more colleges in this city uh, I want to do like a public college like a city public college and I want to do like a community college uh, but those will be kind of coming much further down the line they're not coming anytime soon uh, after finishing this episode, my appetite for colleges is pretty satiated. <laughs> but um, yeah, so with that all in mind, you know, let me know. What do you think? What, what would be like a good, I feel like it's got to be like a regal sort of an animal or maybe a like, you know, like a knight or something like that. I don't know. What do we all think? Let me know. Uh, so over here, we're kind of like closing out the end here. Uh, doing more of that sort of like path clipping trick that I talked about before uh, where you kind of like put them super close to each other and then put the stairs over that kind of clipped area and um, and we're getting kind of to the end here I'm going to build a uh, uh, parking lot and oh look toga party that's fun uh, for the like one time that y you see it and you care about it um, anyways yeah, kind of uh, coming up with different iterations of this same theme of kind of like lining these um, these pathways with the with the tiny bushes. Um, there's only only so many different ways you can do it, but I think I I think I probably found just about every possible way to do it in this episode. Um, and then over here, this is that big parking lot I talked about before. That's kind of like sitting right at the edge of campus. It's again uh, simply not big enough <laughs> um, for the amount of people who would be at this school, um, but it's okay because it's it's probably got a pretty strong commuter culture, I'd imagine, and also probably a lot of people would live nearby because it's a pretty good 
little neighborhood of, of medium density housing. So I'd imagine there'd be a lot of student housing available nearby. Um, but yeah, otherwise just it's, this is another one of those times where you're like trying to find all the different ways that you can do a parking lot because the, you know, in an American city, you just got to do so damn many of them. You got to find every possible way you can to, to have fun doing it or else you're going to go absolutely insane. Oh, I didn't talk about this, by the way. There's this sort of big um, auditorium over here. I'd imagine it's probably where, like, the basketball team plays or whatever. Uh, and then over here, kind of trying to extend out the neighborhood a little bit, just doing some fairly generic building on the side here. Nothing super unique, just kind of, like, making some retail uh, choices over here that I think would make sense for a kind of, like, liberal arts college. So, like bookstores, gay bars, that sort of stuff. A little sandwich shop that I imagine like has some sort of like famous signature sandwich that's like absolutely disgusting to anybody who doesn't go to the school. Uh, and then just kind of like using a lot of the same um, a lot of the same housing that I've been using in the neighborhood otherwise um, to just show that this is all kind of like built and developed around the same time. But maybe down here it's less um it's less wealthy people in particular and more like um, more students, more like probably the the wealthier people in this area. Um, they own the buildings that are a little further down and they, they rent them out. Oh, and these are uh, kind of like more modern dorms that I'd imagine are probably like the uh, these are probably like the freshman dorms, right? These seem like they're a little bit they're a little bit inconvenient to everything and they look like they're probably like that kind of building where um it looks pretty nice and fancy and new and like everything has that sort of like modern minimalist sort of sheen to it but then absolutely everything inside is falling apart instantly um but yeah like i said using a lot of the same sort of buildings around here to just kind of like kind of blend it all together um, which is really kind of the name of the game at this point when you're like doing a special project and then kind of, you know, these, these neighborhoods start to collide with each other. You have to find, you have to find the way to like transition one to the next. And I think I do a pretty good job in this episode. You know, just kind of like pushing these brownstones a little further out in this direction, um, kind of getting some of the height going because we're getting a little closer to downtown on the side of the park kind of uh kind of over by where we were in the last episode uh, actually you can see <laughs> just briefly there um a little spoiler that i kind of did these in the reverse order from each other uh but that music of course means that we are at the end of the episode i want to thank you so much for bearing with me i know this is kind of a rambly episode it's hard to talk about a single project for this long uh, but my name is Jeremy. You can find me on Twitter at, at Jeremy Thunder. Uh, please, please check out Silver Republic. Um, and uh, that's it. That's all, folks. Thanks for thanks for hanging out. I'll see you next time. <laughs>